In the land of sick fucking gains, there can only be one sack on your chin. Who will be the one to put it there? Who will be the one? I'll do it. I'll put that sack there. You're welcome. The following program is rated TV M-A-N-O-C. It contains a big pair of nuts directly on your chin. It is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. What's going on, fam? It's your boy, Papa Swolio. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. Obviously, why would you go anywhere else when you got the sick fucking gains and the beard? right here. Thank you so much for being here. It is a wonderful evening. It's a little bit chilly down here. My nips are a little bit hard, so I got them covered, but wait. I told you the only time I wear a shirt is when I'm wearing nothing underneath, and the only time I wear a shirt is when it's enormous apparel. Look at that. Look at that. It looks like me. It's literally me. I could just put this on my face. Well, you might like that. If you don't like my face, you'll probably be like, why don't you just put that on your face? But... SoulNormousApparel.com, all the links down below. This is a fire shirt. It's probably one of my favorites. And the women's tanks are freaking amazing. Mama Solio loves her shit. So go check that out and all the links for all the details down below. If you're new, we got a bunch of new releases, a bunch of new things happening on the channel. You probably didn't see the last video, I guess, because YouTube didn't show it to jack shit <laughs> of my subscriber base. But the Solnormous Procast, brand new Procast, talking about attention, distribution. We're talking intention, how we create content, and all the different technology and social media platforms. It's a pro cast, not a podcast. It's a pro cast. So if you're an entrepreneur, if you own a business, if you're interested in just hearing me talk and smash with many different people on the pro cast and the first episode has my boy King Darius. You always listen to his music on the outro and also the intro of the Daily Soul podcast. So if you haven't checked it out, it's the previous video. Go check it out and there will be new episodes at least once a week. So I'm super, super stoked for it and fire. It's going to be long-form conversation and it's going to be only with guests. So enjoy that. And if you liked it, drop it down in the comments below. Hashtag Procast. It's fire. Literally is fire. Like literally there's so much fire in the actual video. So this video is more specific to you, to training, to the Swole fam, to those of you that are starting your journey this time of year. It's January, beginning of January. Resolutions are still at their peak, but we got to talk about overwhelm. We have to talk about sticking to your plan. Whatever it is, I don't care what you're doing, what you're eating, what your training is, whether you're in Solnormous X or not, doesn't matter. You still gotta stick to your program. Consistency is the seventh pillar of Solnormous. So it's pretty fucking important. Doesn't matter if you have a training program, doesn't matter if you have a good nutrition plan or you are doing the elimination diet, doesn't matter if you stop in a month. So how do you prevent that kind of stuck in the mud, oh my God, what do I do? There's so much information. I wanna give you a little perspective because as you all know, and those of you that are in Solnormous X, we have so much content. Just think about my public channels. Think about my over 1,340 episodes of The Daily Swole. My daily videos are pretty much daily videos here on the channel. Thousands of videos here, Instagram, I have so much content everywhere. So you can imagine Insights with Enormous X, we have over 70 yoga classes, we have virtual trainers, we have workouts, uh, just a workout archive, we have program vault, there's so much content, it's easy for even members to get overwhelmed. I want to read you this very important one from a brand new member to Swanormous X. This one is from Vicky, and she said, Hey fam, I just joined a couple days ago and have been looking through all the info on Swanormous X. I feel a little overwhelmed and wonder if I can get advice on how you started your program. Did you work on your nutrition and exercise both right away, or did you start working on one area? Area first. I'm 59 years old and weigh 250 and I'm 5'8 and would like to get down to 170 pounds. Thanks for your help. So I want to break down a couple other aspects of this post because I think it's very, very important, not just for Vicky, but for a lot of you and the psychological approach to your training. So that's a very good question. A lot of people try to take on too much. They try to do this advanced training program. Hey, I want to look like this person. Let me just buy their program and then follow their nutrition. And they just can't keep up because that's designed for that person based on their experience, based on their needs, based on their skills schedule based on everything for them. That's why I guide people through the elimination diet because it helps you figure out what works best for you. What works best for you is going to be something that you can stick to. And if you can stick to it, you can be consistent, you'll get more results. Pretty much whatever the fuck you do, aside from eating junk food and not exercising, eating better, whatever the nutrition approach is, and exercising, whatever the exercise protocol is, a little bit, you know, you want it to be safe, of course, I'm not saying just do anything, but it's going to be better than doing nothing for sure. And if you're consistent with it, you'll get results to a 
point. You'll plateau eventually with most things, but you'll get results. So most of you just have to start with something and start with the psychological perspective that this is for your lifetime. This is for decades. It's not for 30 days. It's not for spring break. This is not for the summer. It's not for a wedding that's coming up in three months. It's for you. It's for your life. It's for your 40 years down the road. So you got to set a strong foundation. Think about the pyramids. They've been there for thousands of years. They weren't building the pyramids like, hey, I hope this looks good in May. They wanted those things to be epic. And they are, and they still are. So you want to build your pyramid. That's why the pillars of Swanormous, that's why they're shaped like that. The they're pillars, but they're also can be structured like a pyramid. The base, the foundation, that's why we have community as the base, the people, the community, the people you surround yourself with. So Vicky posted this in the private Facebook group, the Swole Fam group, and tons of responses. I didn't even have to jump in there. I just said, welcome to the group. Everyone else answered your question already because everyone gave their perspective on how they started. And the beauty of this, the beauty of this life and your training is that you can customize it. You don't have to do it any one way. You shouldn't do it any one way. That's the problem with people just selling fucking programs because it's one and done. Hey, download my PDF and here's my nutrition plan. No wonder why it doesn't fucking work. It's something that someone wrote down on a piece of paper and here's what I eat. Eat a cup of this, eat a cup of that. You can't stick to that shit. It's not, it doesn't fit your needs. It doesn't fit your palate. It doesn't fit your maybe financial capacity. It doesn't fit your lifestyle, your daily schedule. Maybe you can't eat six times a day. So maybe intermittent fasting is better for you. You get my point. You have to individualize and customize. And I've raged on that before. So this post just brought to my attention that if I have to choose and say, okay, which one should you really focus on first? Honestly, I would say nutrition because if you had to pick one, some people can take on a lot at one time. Some people can just go cold turkey with drinking alcohol or go cold turkey stopping smoking cigarettes. They can just boom, stop and then they're done. But most people need to build to it. Most people need to do incremental habits. So it's better to focus generally on one area, lock that down and then add other things into it. So it depends on where you're starting from. And this is the third pillar of Soul Norm the programming, the training, okay? What's your experience? What time availability do you have? And that's gonna determine the volume and the frequency and the exercise selection based on those principles. So if you're someone that's brand new, you've never exercised before, you've never eaten healthy, you should really just focus on the elimination diet and focusing on your nutrition. And then just dabble with yoga, dabble with some mobility, just get moving, go for more walks, but focus on nutrition and lock that down. Because that is such a complete lifestyle overhaul. You're buying different foods, you're getting different tastes, you're figuring out different ways to prepare your food, what you like the best, what works best. That takes a lot of attention, much more than exercise in my opinion. If you have a lot of exercise experience, you might be able to do the elimination diet. Of course, it's not a performance diet, so you want to back off the intensity, but you could probably, you know, monitor your routine or get into the 90-day dash or whatever program you're doing. I mean, if you're in Swole Normous X, you're not. But if you are doing your training, you have more of a background. You're used to training. It's not weird being in a gym. Oh my God, how do you do a bench press? How do you do a push-up? How do you do a pull-up? You know how to do those things. So you're kind of like treading water there while you're focusing on nutrition. So you're kind of getting a double-edged sword. And then when you can really focus more attention on your training, you can work on that, especially after you get through the elimination. So you're not maybe, you know, feeling drained or fatigued once you figure out your fuel source and your optimal fuel sources for your nutrition, then you can focus more on your training. But if you're brand new, really focus on less. Community is number one. Nutrition is number two for a reason. If you're brand new, if you're really struggling, if you're overwhelmed, it's easy to be overwhelmed. And Solenormous X is not a program. It's an entire platform that covers all aspects of health, fitness, and lifestyle, the most important things that you will need to be consistent and get results. And it's much simpler than everyone makes it. That's why I do what I do. That's why I create what I create. That's why I say what I fucking say. Because you don't need fancy supplements and shit. And those things can maybe help higher level, maybe certain people with deficiencies, but that's very, again, individualized. Individualize your shit individualize your fucking programming, individualize your nutrition, individualize your psychological approach. Sometimes a training protocol, how you train, your training split, it's not the exercise volume or the intensity, it's just the split. Psychologically, you don't like full body workouts, so let's not fucking do those. Psychologically, you hate just doing chest alone on a day, so let's not do a split that only has chest on one day. Now, I say you need to do what you need to do, don't follow what you like, but at the same time, you gotta do what you're gonna adhere to. You need to find that common ground where like, okay, this gets me results and I can stick to it. I, I, I get inspired by it. So fucking do it, all right? Customize, individualize, and like I said, try not to feel overwhelmed because if you change your mindset from that short term, like, hey, I want to lose weight. Well, extrapolate that over 20, 30, 40 years and you start working differently. You start thinking differently. You start behaving differently because you're more patient. And one more thing with this post, she says, 
I would like to get down to 170 pounds. This is a whole nother video in itself, but I wanna to touch upon that. Maybe I'll follow up with this topic tomorrow. It's very arbitrary to say I'm 250 and I wanna get down to 170. Most people use round numbers. Most people just throw out 50 pounds, 75 pounds, 60 pounds, 70 pounds, 80 pounds, 100 pounds. These nice, even round numbers that don't really mean anything. It's like some ingrained memory that you stepped on a scale after college or one day when you were younger, you're like, oh, I felt great in this dress at a wedding that you went to and you looked at the scale and you were 170 and it just imprinted in your brain like I want that feeling more often than not you have this memory attached or this time of your life attached to that number and you want to feel you want to have that kind of positivity you want to have that sensation and everything that was going on in your life around what that 170 because the weight has nothing to do with your psychological health it does if you're morbidly obese and it can definitely have an effect and we don't have to go down that rabbit hole but my point is a lot of people associate a weight with a time in their life and they just throw out hey I want to lose 50 pounds well what if you look exactly the way you want to and you feel amazing and you only lost 40 pounds because you put on 10 pounds of muscle. So that absolute weight and setting a goal weight can be beneficial, but it can also set you up for failure if one, it's not really realistic or attainable at this time. It will be what it will be if you approach with trimming your circle, stop hanging out with people that suck the life out of you, fuel your body properly, pillar number two, nutrition, train, set a program and get a program based on your experience and your time availability and then adjust the volume and frequency. And then you need to work on recovery, okay? I did fit, that's four, recovery, mobility, and then mindfulness and discipline and consistency. So you got those seven pillars. And that seventh one, discipline and consistency, that's what Soul Norm is all about, and that's why I do the content the way that I do. It's building blocks. They're all holding up each other. So it's easy to get overwhelmed if you look at it in a very short window. Oh my God, what am I going to do? There's so much information. Well, good thing that you're in it for life. You're in this fitness and this health game for life because when you stop, you die. Think about that. Like you're, you're adding. You're investing. We're all going to die someday. But do you want to die younger and miserable? Do you want to be in a wheelchair on medication for the last 30 years of your life? Or do you want to live more vibrantly and have the ability to do the things you love for a longer amount of time and have your wits about you and have your mobility, be able to wipe your own fucking ass? These are things we don't think about when we're 30, 40, and 50, but we will think about them when we're 70, 80, and 90 if you don't take care of your shit. And by that time, it starts getting too late. So I'm proud of you, Vicky. Getting back to that. This whole video was not about Vicky. It was about the concept that she brought up. So she's crushing it. And she did the exact fucking thing that I want new members to do, that I want you to do. When you start something, you should have a community. You should be asking, hey, what should I do? I feel this, have this feeling of, okay, there's a lot going on. Where exactly should I start? I mean, Swanormous X walks you through it, but still you start clicking on the different tabs and you see all the stuff and it walks you through it, but it can still feel like, how am I going to do it all? You don't have to. Swanormous X is like a mechanics tool shop. You have the tools you need when you need them, but you don't use them all, all the fucking time. You're not doing every exercise all at once. You're not eating every food all at once. You're not doing every meditation all at once. You need to customize and start with one step at a time. And Vicky, you're in the right place. And if you are interested in joining the fam, all those links are down below. But whatever program you're starting right now, whatever you're doing, even if you've been training for a long time, think about this. Reevaluate your approach to your fitness. Reevaluate your approach to your nutrition. And really think if you're doubling down and if you are focusing enough on the thing that is most important and then systematically working on the next thing and not just juggling too many things at once. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this salty sack on your chin I just worked out, so yeah. And the beard says, thank you for watching this video on the YouTubes, and I'll see you next time for some more nuts on your chin. Peace. You got hair all over my shirt. <clears throat> I'm sorry. It just happened. I know it just happened. I didn't mean to. But I didn't stop it. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, my nip. You always get the nip. Every time. <sighs> Women. Hey, all of y'all talking, but I just went. Pop a swole, open nuts on they chin. Like ever since K2, get mounds of cash. Looked in the crowd, saw my name on the ass. You made them bands, now your money is spent. I sash away about 40%. Empire with honey, like I'm Gary Vee. My pennies are blue, but the product is yeah. gray. I'm dropping slappers to hell with an album. Might fuck around and go see Jimmy Fallon. I multiply while you bear.